Warning, this video contains spoilers for the Archer and Olive subscription box from June 2023, so if you do not want to have the surprise spoiled, it is time to look away. If, like me though, you're a super curious person and you just want to know what's coming up, then stay tuned. Previously we revealed that the theme for the box is Summer Camp. We have Welcome to Summer Camp. At Camp ANO, we encourage you to be creative, fearless, and embrace your mistakes. Get settled into your bunk, go ahead and earn some merit badges, and explore your creativity along the way. Over the next few videos, we're going to be revealing some of the products inside the box, and our first product is this one. And you can probably tell from the size of the box just what this is. This is a notebook that we have in the box, and it is a traveler's size. Here is another example of a traveler's notebook from Archer and Olive. You can see that it is less wide than a typical A5 size. And given the dimensions of this box, we're expecting this notebook to be the same size as this one. When I saw the orange, I was a little bit apprehensive because, not gonna lie, orange is not my favorite color. But if we remove our notebook from the box to have a look at the cover design, you can see that we need not worry because it is not orange, it is a funfetti color, or what I'm calling funfetti at least. It is a cream colored linen cover with what effectively looks like little colored sprinkles throughout it. That's pretty much why I'm calling it Funfetti, because it kind of reminds me of like a Funfetti cake mix, which is pretty cute. In terms of the emblem on the front, we have a little camper van, which is done with black embossing. As per usual, we have the elastic closure, a black pen loop, and two bookmarks, one of which has the little Archer and Olive ampersand charm, and that one's in gold. From the edge, you can see we don't have any gilding on the notebook, and the paper is white. Let's open it up and have a look. Turning into our inside cover, we have the gold foiling with this kind of little flower and leaf design, which is kind of tumbling down the front cover. And that one's done in a metallic gold, so you can see it is super shiny. We have the This Book Belongs To section, or the nameplate page. And then after that, we are right on in to the notebook itself, or the dot grid paper. In terms of dimensions, just like a typical traveler's notebook, we have nine and a half centimeters of dots across, or 19 squares, and 19 centimeters down, or 38 squares. So the same dimensions as a typical traveler's, and the same vertical dimensions as an A5. The pages aren't perforated, we don't have any specialty pages, and the dot grid is five millimeters. In the back, we have our gusseted pocket for storage of flat ephemera and the like. And the back of our notebook box lets us know that we have 144 dot grid pages. So we have the same style and the same dimensions as our typical traveler's notebooks from a &O. Hopefully you can see these do both have the same spine design. So the one that was redesigned to allow the book to kind of lie flat better or not have the spine kind of cracking when you open up the notebook. A bit more akin to a regular hardbound book rather than their older notebooks. I do kind of wish that I'd gotten my hands on this one before purchasing this one for myself, because my current notebook is going to be a traveler's size, which means I do of course have a setup video for that one, and another video showing you how you can use a traveler's notebook, or layouts that you can use. Both of those are on screen here, so if you're considering how you might use these traveler's notebooks, click or tap on one of those, and I'll see you over there. Over the next few days we will have more sub box reveals coming up, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out.